Morty has been itching himself a lot lately, so I started looking into some allergy supplements before work. I'm scouring the web and I realized that maybe it's his diet. Who knows? So I'm buying some new dog food and the total came out to $41.25. Given that it's a Friday, it's less hectic at work today, which helps me get into a deeper flow. Besides catching up on design tickets, I'm also providing feedback to my manager regarding a few candidates we interviewed that week. All right, I am currently waiting to get my eyebrows done, so that's definitely gonna be a charge. A brow wax and a tint which was originally $50 but while I was at the appointment I ended up adding henna for the skin tint or like the tint color to my eyebrows so the total actually came out to $60 I did tip so it ended up being 72 I've been eyeing the new Sony XM5 headphones, but wanted to try them on before buying them. I've always wanted headphones, like I wanted to be that girl, but I always found myself getting a headache or being too uncomfortable in them, so trying before dropping some serious cash money, talk about like $400, was a smart move for me. Okay, we are looking specifically for, ah, I found them. First, I want to see how they feel on my head. I already feel like they look massive on me. Since I've never owned noise-canceling headphones before, I wanted to see how the different features work, and I thought I might as well try on Beats while I'm there. I do like the Beats headphones because they're much smaller than the Sony ones, but I don't really like how they look on me, and they're not like, I don't know, what I wanted to buy in the first place. I'm gonna go back to try the Sony ones again. At this point, I feel like I'm trying to force myself to like them because I've been eyeing them for so long. Does that ever happen to you? where you're trying to make something happen after romanticizing about it for too long. So I did not end up getting the headphones. Basically what I figured out is that I don't think my head is conducive to headphones. Like my whole life I've tried so many different headphones and all of them bother me. Or maybe I'm just a very sensitive person, which could also be the case because I'm a very sensitive, fragile lady. I genuinely think it's because I'm a small person and I have like a baby head, baby teeth, and baby ears. It feels like it's clamped too hard. So then when I talk, I feel pressure like here. Maybe I need to noodle on it. I have a little bit of a Mimi pickle going on here. Now I'm on my way to dinner in Bankers Hill. We're driving, so I'm not going to count existing gas because that's just too much, too much effort and math and shit. And when it comes to spending, I would say my one splurge is dining out. Since I am such a foodie, I make sure we eat out at least once a week, and tonight we're having sushi, so I'm already anticipating a hefty, hefty charge over here. One of my favorite spots for rolls is Azuki if you're ever in town. I'm Japanese, so you're going to want to take my word for it. And since I went with my husband, I'm not going to halves this because I thought that'd be silly, so the total bill with tip for the both of us is $128. We use the weekends to stock up on food for the week. I used to go to Trader Joe's a lot, but my primary is now officially Sprouts. I just like their produce better. And so we're gathering ingredients for a clam linguine tonight. And I also stock up on my yogi tea that I cannot live without because I'm pretty sure I go through two boxes of these a week. So the final charge for this trip ends up being $122.10. Now I'm on my way to get a facial. I used to get them every few months, but I buckled down on spending and had to cut this princess treatment out. But today, I wanted to treat myself. I'm nervous to see how much this comes out to be, honestly, because I know how expensive pampering items can be. But isn't it worth it? Can you really put a price on relaxation? I got the hydration and lymphatic draining treatment and also stocked up on my weekly exfoliator. And so the final charge came out to $331.03. And to actually think grocery shopping Saturday was over. <laughs> we also hit up our local Mexican grocery store that we like to frequent for essentials or specialty items. I also found top ramen, which for some reason I can never find. So I snagged the last one, suckas. We're making tostadas this week, so we wanted to get the good, good stuff. And the total for this trip came out to $14.77. My puppers also needed his medication, so we picked it up at the vet with a total of $64.50. 
Um, another grocery store? See, I meant it when I said I was a foodie. I will exhaust myself to make sure the meal is how it should be in the kitchen. For our clam linguine tonight, we're getting little neck clams. I also need to stock up on my cold Korean noodles since it's been so hot out lately. And so the total came out to $45.81. Mm-mm-mm, and here is that beautiful clam linguine. I mean, come on. Come on. It has been extremely hot here lately, so it was time to hit the beach. I think of a few eats when I'm at the beach, like a sandwich, watermelon, but when you're in San Diego, it's gotta be the burrito. It was still considered morning, so I got a breakfast burrito with bacon, and the total came out to $9.16. That night, we went out to Korean barbecue to celebrate a new job, so we took an Uber there, which came out to $19.99. We started the meal off with a beer tower. Yes, that's beer in a large tube. <laughs> Banchan is one of my favorite parts about Korean food. Oh my gosh. It's my own little tradition that if I get a new job, I'm the one who should be footing the bill. So the bill for the meal that I paid for all by myself came out to $104.64. We then took our Uber back, which was $20.99. Today is a holiday, so no work, but of course, we went back to the grocery store and picked up a few things for lunch and dinner, so I spent $32.12 there. Otherwise, I stayed light on the spending because the weekend was so expensive. We also got paper towels for the house. Back at the vet again. I swear sometimes I'm either always at the vet or at a grocery store, but Morty had a few shots that needed to be taken care of with a total bill of $64.50. Look at him. He's like, Mammy, I'm so hot. It's 99 degrees out. Oof. I'm leaving on Thursday for a wedding and will be a bridesmaid, so I picked up my dress from the tailor. I just got a strap fix and had it hemmed with a total cost of $41.40. Giving my wallet a much needed break today, thank goodness. I have kickball on Wednesdays and bought myself and some teammates beers after, so that ended up being $18. These days, I'm avoiding filling up my tank until I have to. I'm one of those people who never really fill up a tank, and I find it fun to just give my tank a little splash here and there, so it came out to $37.79. I have the day off, so I decided to go to the bookstore. I love the small books and proling the aisles. Something about books where just scream childhood nostalgia to me. I was looking for a few self-growth books, which I won't divulge, and I did need a new diary. I have a new one every couple of years, and the ones with the lock reminds me of my elementary school diaries. All my new treasures for this trip cost $81.77. I then got lunch at the only Burmese restaurant in San Diego, literally open last year. When I used to live in San Francisco, I was addicted to tea leaf salad, so whenever I get a chance, I grab one here, and the total came out to $18.82. This is technically an extra day than a week, but I wanted to show another day of spending. We're on our way to Reno for a wedding in Tahoe, and we grabbed some snacks for the plane and figured we'd eat a meal when we landed, which ended up costing $9. Whenever I eat something new and I like it, I give it a formal inspection. This time it was everything bagel cashews. I was very surprised at how good they were. Once we landed at the Reno airport, we headed into town to get some lunch at Chipotle, which between the two of us was $21, before driving an hour into Tahoe, and it was really smoky from the wildfires. All right, so here's the breakdown of everything I spent this week. One thing I wanna note here is luckily a lot of these expenses are based off of a two person household because I essentially split a lot of things between me and my husband. So that means the breakdown for me is slightly different. Now the final grand total of what I spent this week ends up being $1,064.13. Honestly, I'm pretty okay with it. It's a little bit more than I had expected. I wanna be clear here, like I understand that I have a lot of privilege and I am so, so grateful that I have a salary that can afford these types of luxuries. Plus I kind of knew going into this week that it was going to be a little more than usual given all of the celebrations, the long holiday weekend, and any type of beauty prep that I wanted to do before I went to a wedding as a bridesmaid. I want to talk about my top three categories where I spent the most this week. Coming in third place is groceries. 
You saw how often we hit grocery stores and not just your usual, like we went to so many different types of grocery stores. And that's because like I mentioned, I like to eat and I wanna make sure what I eat outside of the house and inside the house is good every single meal. And I like to try a bunch of different recipes throughout the week. So I am not surprised by this at all. Coming in second place is dining. Again, given my passion for food, this is honestly a non-negotiable for my lifestyle. And it's my way of exploring the city that I live in. So again, nothing new here. So so first place actually shocked me a lot. So the category that I spent my most money in this week is beauty. Honestly, it was really just one charge. It was that facial that was like over $300. When I do get a facial, which isn't that often, I don't even come close to spending that kind of money. So honestly, that was super outside of the norm because I wanted to splurge. And my brow wax this time was extra fancy as well because I added like a $12 additional service. If you ever need San Diego recommendations, you know where to find me here. Or I have a bunch of awesome content on TikTok right now related to restaurant reviews, UX, and tech lifestyle. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.